Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is going to be a little video about using uh, millimeters versus inches and actually having uh, Corel help you uh, use kind of like a calculator. I'm in Central Texas, so I use inches. So I've got a block that's five inches by five inches. But if somebody sent me this drawing in millimeters and I didn't know what it was, I can go to millimeters and click on it and I've got 1.27 millimeters so I know what it is and you know I can kind of relate that as so if I had to draw something for them but let's back up here and you can see the screen goes away when you're clicked on something so you need to be totally not selected but let's go back to inches this is just my nudge factor but I'm going to click on my box and it's going to tell me it's five inches by five inches. But let's say I wanted it um, 100, 127 millimeters. Let's make it 128. Just type in 128 millimeters. Well, maybe I'm rounding it off 130 millimeters. And I get 5.11811. So it's actually kind of doing the math. Let's go. Uh, let's go to millimeters real fast. And let's change this to one thirty-second of an inch. And it's going to tell me in millimeters what one thirty-second of an inch is. Now let's go back to inches, and we can actually use Corel Draw for a calculator. Let's go one thirty second plus I hit the minus key plus three thirty seconds is one eighth. It it does the math. I don't really know when you'd be using that, but if you were trying to figure out something, you know, real quick, let's go one thirty second plus thirty one thirty seconds. And we come up with one inch. So you can kind of use this as a calculator right here. But just keep in mind that goes away. Your tool bar here changes whether you've got things selected or not. So if you want to look at somebody's work in millimeters and find out what that square is, 127, click off of it, go back to inches, and now you got five inches. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.